Hello, everyone. Welcome to Besiege. Well, I say everyone as if more than two people are watching this. So, yeah, this is Besiege. Besiege is a game. You may have heard of it. It's about building stuff. Okay, I'm not the guy to describe the game to you, so, like, just take it this way, alright? I built some walkers in it. And, um, I used to play this game a lot, but then, of course, I got a new computer, so I had to reinstall it, etc., etc. And when I play this game a lot, I mean, I played it for, like, like, every day for five months, then never played it again for two years until, like, my friends started playing it. Okay, long story short, I have a very weird history with this game, but... So I just got it on my new computer. So this is not actually the first walker I've ever built in Besiege. This is just the first one I built on this save file. So yeah, um, I'm going to show you all the walkers I've built because I have nothing better to do with my time. So this is the first one, at least from this save file. It's um, very simplistic. It's more of a hopper than a walker. It moves. It can turn with the little pistons. It works. It's not that fast. You know, um, there were better things I could have done, so I had another iteration. This time bigger. Yeah. Significantly bigger. And this one is much faster. You can just, like, you can immediately tell the difference. And it turns also much better. You can even uh, turn it while it's standing still. Some people say that's cheating because it's like using wheels. I only say it's cheating if the wheels can all move in the same direction, allowing you to like move like a car. These are just for turning. And you can turn while you're walking. Like, just very basic walker here. And it can, of course, go backwards. The other one could not go backwards. And also could not stop going forward, so significant improvements here, so I decided to knock off a couple of the legs. Now you have this thing. It's, um, you have to be sort of careful with this one, because if you go full speed ahead like this, then it falls over. But if I turn down the speed on the legs anymore, it sort of is just annoying, so I like to have more precise control over it. And it also uses the piston, piston steering system, increasing the friction on one side. That actually works surprisingly well for this walker, I have no idea why. Considering that it only has two legs, so the friction should not, like... I don't really know why it works, but it just does. So yeah, less stable, but this one has two legs, so that's pretty cool. Um, I believe there's one other neat thing about this one, and it's that, oh yeah, so this is walks like those little wind-up things that you get at the store with little pegs here. Uh, the next walker, I decided to knock those off. Now we have this thing, and it can almost sort of jump by just hitting left and right at the same time, like that. And so you walk by alternating with left and right, like old school walkers. And you'd go like this. And also, it's left and right is built in, so that's pretty cool. It's a little bit slower, and it does use these, but it doesn't use them for turret. It does use the fans. It does not use the fans for turning, though. It uses the fans for keeping it upright as it walks. Yeah. Alright, so the next walker was sort of a mistake, actually. Oh yeah, uh, some of these walkers are actually capable of getting back up when they fall over. I don't think this is one of them, but the last one could by, like, gyrating around. But, so yeah, the next walker, I just did away with all of this and made something totally stupid. Yeah. I'm ashamed. It does indeed walk, albeit sort of stupidly.
And it can do, like, gymnastics. And its arms can also grab stuff. And it can, like, crawl along the ground, sort of. I believe that you release the arms with Z, so... Yeah. This is the stupidest one. <laughs> but so... Like, where would you even go from here? Well, of course, to something even stupider. I actually made this thing uh, prior to when I changed to the new computer, and then I uploaded it to the Steam Workshop and got it on this one. I called it the Drunken Horse, because it used to work like the second walker I showed you. But now... Well... Yeah. But, it does have one redeeming quality. You turn on invincibility. It does this really stupid jostling motion. And it can sort of turn. <laughs> I wasn't even originally going to include this thing in the video, it's such a shameful object. But I mean, like... You sort of have to, if you're me. Because it's so funny. Like, under what circumstance would this ever be practical? Would- under what circumstance would any besiege walker be practical? I don't know, nor do I care. This thing is so stupid. At one point, I set up an obstacle course to see which walkers could get through it, and it was really funny, so I'm actually going to show you a little bit of that. So, I just remade sort of a miniature version, and I had one of my friends put one of his walkers through it. So, I'm going to show you just how stupid this is. The, uh, the idea is you go through it, and if you destroy any of the houses, you lose. Okay, let's try this out. I just went into the multiverse and built this thing. So let's. Yeah, it is revolt the entire obstacle course. Not that that's much of an arduous task. I mean, it's like 30 houses. Oh no. Oh no, gotta turn. I know that this walker can make it through. Sorry if this is a little bit boring, but like, I mean, come on. It's. It's supposed to be boring. Oh no, 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 no. Whew. Almost fell there. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Alright. Um. I think it has just become clear to me that we are not going to make it. Mm, yeah, no. Alright, one of the other walkers. Oh boy. This one I made for a little contest. Who could build the best walker in like 10 minutes? And I lost. I'm not sure if I mentioned that already. Oh no. No, no, no. This thing isn't even gonna make it to the first bit. And... Nope. Okay. Alright, I forgot. Go! Go, go, Power Rangers. That's probably copyrighted. Also, why am I seeing our Power Rangers theme? And nope. I was able to do this once, I swear, but I'm not going to keep trying to pray because it's probably getting pretty annoying. So, let's do a funny and comedically appropriate outro. Nyom. Let's see if we can beat it with this. Oh, I actually did! Thank you and good night.